Now, Jedi, you shall die. <laughs> Limited power. <laughs> Welcome to Sloppy Zen Meditation. So this is my first time recording a video for you and for me uh, for doing a Zazen practice. Uh, I don't profess to be a teacher. I just want to do this for myself and for you. So I have maybe someone you can practice with, albeit virtually. Um, it's a silent meditation practice. And the way I do it is just focusing on the breath, whether that be on an exhale, you slowly count out one, you do it again, you slowly count out to two, and then three, but anytime you have an intervening thought, you say in your mind, thank you for that thought, just accept it, or acknowledge it, not necessarily accept it, actually that's, that's an important point, acknowledge it, don't pass judgment on it, because you could have some thoughts that uh, you may think positive of, or in some thoughts you may think negative of, but then return back to the breath. And this is all done basically silently. You may hear, uh, I do this for about 30 minutes, um, you may hear some wood blocks go off. Uh, just a reminder uh, for myself, and maybe for you, just to, hey, get back to focusing on the breath. Um, it's just a simple, simple way of just like, ah, yeah, it's easy to get lost into whatever thought process you have. I think people, no matter how many years they practice it, probably have, have uh, experienced that. And it's also often called the monkey mind. Uh, so I certainly do, and I'll probably experience it the very, <laughs> you know, within the first 30 seconds. Uh, so if you're new to this and you're frustrated, it's okay to be frustrated. That's part of the process. It's, it's Zen training. It's not, you know, you don't go into it and immediately become enlightened or you don't immediately become a master. It takes years and I'm like nowhere near that. Uh, so thank you for joining me and we'll get started now again. This is, you're not going to hear anything other than hopefully, hopefully not the dog or the neighbors are honking outside or anything. Um, if you do hear noise from my family, I apologize. That's just the nature of things. Uh, and I'm sure where you are, you may have things that you experience, you know, sensations, smells, noises, flashes of light, whatever. Um, they occur, and just like, okay, that arose, that's great. Just move on, just you know, focus on the breath, focus on your uh, exhale, and slowly count out the one. Or if you're very comfortable, if you're really into practice, do whatever you're doing. If you're doing koans, if you're doing something else, if you're just focusing on the breath, not even counting, because, you know, eventually just worrying about the numbers, that can be detrimental after some time. Um, wherever you are in your practice, I'm just glad that you're here. Um, you know, and if there's anything that I can do to help during this, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, take them to heart. Uh, this is going to be a learning process for me, and I hope you uh, can join uh, in doing this again. But right now, let's do the Zazen. Um, and uh, I'll do this for about 30 minutes. You'll hear a, uh, again, the wood blocks go off roughly five minute intervals. Um, after 15 minutes, you will hear um, three sharper, or whatever you call it, uh, higher chimes. Um, those, for me, indicate to change my sitting position. I sit in the Burmese position, so sometimes my, my legs get a little bit numb. Um, 
and I need to just s switch them over and okay um, and you may find that useful too. Also I'll let you know here at the 15 minute interval. I also uh, light some incense and I find those uh, Japanese the uh, what brand is it? The uh, I forget the brand but um, they last for about 30 minutes so not necessary but you can certainly do it. Um, and uh, this is not really a religious practice for me. This is a psychological, a philosophical, and just I enjoy this practice. So uh, please join it with me now. I'm going to get started on the timer and it's going to be hopefully silent and hopefully you'll have a good sit. So thank you for joining. Okay, the sit's going to start now. Thanks for joining.
that concludes the first session. Uh, I hope you had a good sit, whether you perform Zazen, whether you perform Vipassana, whether you perform Insight, whether you perform Taoist, whether you perform any sort of meditation, you're always welcome here. And I'm glad that you joined us for the, uh, this very first sit, and hope to see you soon. So if you stay tuned, I'll uh, be relaying some insights that I had during my meditation, and some of them are just really just practical ones that I just really want to document uh, because of this very first recording. So some of it's just sort of technical recording stuff that I learned, but you know, there's always some insights into the mind. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and thanks so much for joining. Hi, so welcome back, and thanks for joining again. Uh, hopefully you sat through your that first meditation that I did, uh, or that we did together, actually, come to think of it. Uh, and I hope you got some value out of that, as I always seem to do, no matter how hard it is just doing this set. Uh, so what are some things that I learned? What are insights that I could glean from, 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 that, from that set? Uh, in terms of practical ones, it just has to do with this recording that uh, it takes a while to just get this set up set up and you'd, you'd figure it'd be easy just to uh, get a recording of just someone just basically just sitting here but no you know you have to have a pretty specific camera angle the lighting over here is kind of glaring i noticed i have like you know this bright shadow i might need to adjust things around uh then given the fact that i'm recording this on probably relatively ancient equipment uh, meaning that this is, let's see, this is like a Canon probably around 2009 or so, could be 2010, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, this is old. You probably get better video off of, like, off of your cell phone. Um, I had to get new batteries for it. The batteries that I got you know, they're aftermarket. I don't even know if they even make these kind of batteries, but it died. And I recent, recently charged it up. It died in the middle of the, of, of the Zazen session. Uh, so, lesson learned. Uh, I had to stop the recording because it actually just sort of automatically stopped. I had to run downstairs, get the Canon charger um, or the AC adapter, um, and... Uh, Get it plugged in in the middle of the <laughs> in the middle of the session, so that was one thing. So now, while I'm using this one, uh, I'll just kind of leave it plugged in because this is like a, a relatively decent location for it. But I might change the angle here and there, uh, just to vary things up a little bit. Um, but uh, so lesson one, just leave it plugged into the AC. Uh, lesson two. Um, <laughs> while recording this, uh, my timer, when, 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 when I had that full stop, when the battery went out, I paused my meditation timer. Okay, great. And so when I went back, back up to, you know, to sit again, I thought I started it up again. I didn't. It was still on pause, so it was pretty much sitting here. Uh, doing my zazen, which is fine. You should get as much in as you can, but I probably just would have kept on going for like two hours with, until I kind of looked up and was like, oh, it is uh, in pause mode. So, I have to be mindful. Be mindful of when you, <laughs> when, when, when you make sure to unpause when you're out and actually click that pause button uh, uh, to resume that timer. So, this is some practical stuff. What are some things that just sort of came up in my meditation session, though? Um, some just like weird thoughts. I kind of like look at it as like some sort of purgative for, for some reason when I do uh, meditations. Like, what are those thoughts that just do arise? You know, it's un it's unavoidable that they do. Um, one was like a, a couple of political thoughts, and I don't really get too much into 
politics just day to day. I don't go talking to politics. I don't watch like the, the listen to NPR yet, but I don't get too political. But one of them was like, why? Why in the world does this come up during meditation? I don't know. Why do any of these kind of thoughts just sort of arise during meditation? I don't know. But they do. Um, and they're there. It's always just sort of just good to just kind of purge them out anyway. Um, I'd say during Zazen I probably spend more than, way more than half my time probably just on these other, these random thoughts rather than like, hey, getting back to the breath. So it's, it's interesting where these thoughts just sort of lead you. Um, Those are the thoughts that kind of stood out. I don't think I had like anything like, you know, usually like maybe I would have some sort of thoughts about like what I'm reading or what I need to get or, you know, my family or kids, what I need to do. But I don't really, didn't really have much of that. I was kind of really, I guess my thoughts were really more on, hey, how is this going? Are people hearing all the noises? Are people hearing my, the, my digestion? You know, it's like you know, all these sort of weird thoughts just arise. It's like, okay, that's natural. Uh, and when you, actually, when you're doing zazen, if it does or any sort of meditation when it occurs, it's natural. You're like, all right, yep, those are noises of the human body. But imagine you're actually doing zazen with like a big group of people. Right? If you're doing yoga, you're going to hear all sorts of digestive related noises and coughs. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I had a sneeze in the middle of a meditation. It just happens. Um, so, um, hopefully, you guys are cool with me and my noises and the background noises. If you can, I wonder if you can hear it. I was wondering if whether you could hear the crickets. Actually, was one of the thoughts that went through my mind. I guess I'll find out when I uh, do the editing. Um, that's really it for this first session. Uh, hopefully, you guys got some insight during your meditation, or you had some peace, or relaxation, or whatever you wanted to get out of your uh, meditation session. Hope you got it too. So, uh, thanks for joining, and see you next time. And don't forget to click that like and subscribe.